Hello everyone and welcome back. Hope you're all doing great. And today I'm back with a plant video. The plant I'm talking about is Hoya Compacta or it's also called as Indian Rope. And Hoya Compacta is a beautiful indoor plant to have but also it's known to attract sap suckers like mites, mealybugs and aphids. The plant right here is attacked by mealybugs as you can see. So because of the shape of the leaves it's kind of curly so it's really hard to get rid of mealybugs on this plant in general and the plant the plant's leaves backside of the leaves it's it's infected with mealybugs and the crevices of the leaves the crevice totally infected with mealybugs today's video i would like to talk you through about the mealybugs and also how i get rid of the mealybugs from this plant so without any further ado let's get started mealybug infestation on this plant is really hard to get rid of because of the shape of the leaves there are many ways to get rid of mealybugs but I would like to show you my method that worked for me. First I would like to jet wash the um, plant with you know um, a spray of water. I'm going to use my sink spray um, or if you I have made an entire video on how to deal with mealybugs and how to clean them. I leave the link below for you so please check them out and after I wash the plant off thoroughly uh, I would like to treat the plant with neem oil spray. I also made a video on that, a detailed video on that. So I will leave both links in the description box for you. If you're interested, please check them out. But first, let's get started with the water spray. So I'm going to wash this plant in my sink. And we have to check the plant and see where the mealybugs are infested and just spray them. It's going to be messy, but that's fine. Now the plant, it's clear of mealybugs, but there might be some eggs uh, and some infestation in the soil and at the back side of the leaves. So it's, be uh, it's better to do neem oil spray and that will get rid of the infestation, further infestation as well. Now that I have washed this Hoya plant thoroughly with jet spray of water, I'm going to um, spray the entire plant with neem oil spray so I leave the link as I said I leave the link in the description box um, how I prepare but basically this is the neem oil pure neem oil this is a neem oil cold pressed neem oil I'm using and for my indoor plant I don't go for the bigger spray bottle so this this spray bottle is enough for me um, for this sized bottle I'm going to add one teaspoon of neem oil pure neem oil and a slight a tinge of dish soap and water dish soap just because this is oil and water and they don't mix together um, acts as an emulsifier and then that will make the neem oil mix with water so it goes evenly onto the plant rather than leaving the residue before you try neem oil spray on the plant always test a leaf first just to, just to make sure the consistency is the dilution is correct Sometimes if the consistency is stronger, then um, the leaves might burn. So it's always better to, whenever you're trying for the plant, always better to try test first, test with the leaf. So for this bottle, I'm going to add, give it a shake. I'm going to add a teaspoon of neem oil. and a tiny bit of dish soap and water. Now 
Now I'm going to spray the plant entirely. Give it a shake once that it's safe and then you can spray the entire plant. Do this uh, for almost like seven days until you see the infestation is gone and then you should be okay. And also don't forget the soil of the leaves, back of the leaves, everywhere, wherever you see, because you are doing it for seven days. Sometimes if it misses one leaf, it doesn't matter. It will cover the rest of the days. So this is how I deal my indoor plants with mealybug infestation. Hope this was a helpful video and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.